Hey, thanks for clicking on this video. Today we take a trip over to Koh Samet. We start off here at the Akamai BTS station. We take a minibus and a boat over to the island, break down all the costs, where we stayed, where we ate on our budget friendly one day trip. I'll also give you tips if you're staying longer, so stick around. First thing we'll want to do is make our way over to the Akamai bus terminal and buy a ticket to Ban Pei. The ticket was 200 baht. Here's the ticket, gives you the bus lane, gives you the bus number, and the time. After getting your ticket, you want to make your way to the back where all the buses are. This day was a little bit busier than most as people were going home to vote. You should be able to find yourself a nice cozy seat and you should be able to easily find your bus lane. When the bus arrives, make sure you're dressed appropriately like you're going to a beautiful island in Thailand. Make sure you coolly walk over to the bus like you know what you're doing because you watched this video. Always remember to take a selfie with the bus. Here's a view from inside the bus. The ride from Ekamai Station to Ban Pei is about three hours with the bus stopping one time for smoke and bathroom break. When the bus drops you off in Ban Pei, you want to make your way to Non Tip Pier, where you can arrange a speedboat over to Koh Samet. You can also take a ferry, but it takes a lot longer and it's on a schedule. We're only staying the one night, so the speedboat made sense to maximize our time on the island. Speedboat one way is 200 baht, and round trip is 300 baht. When you get your ticket, make your way down the pier, and a staff member will let you know what dock to wait on. The boat will look something similar to this, and the ride to Koh Samet should take about 10 to 15 minutes. Koh Samet is a national park, so there is a fee to get in. Foreigners pay 200 baht for an adult and 100 baht for children. The hotel we stayed at is Rainbow Sky Hotel. It's walking distance from the pier we had dropped off. It's a budget hotel, but clean and the owner is very friendly and costs 1200 baht a night including breakfast. At this point we were pretty hungry so we stopped off at Ning Seafood here, had a couple dishes, cost us about 300 baht with drinks. We next took a walk down to a beach closest to our hotel, suggested by the hotel manager, nice place, Luke Gion Bay. As you can see, it was a really nice place. Only thing is there was no place to buy drinks, no lounge chairs. It's a little bit too secluded for us. So we made our way up the main street here to Sai Kau Beach. It's really the main beach on Koh Samet. It's where the, most of the restaurants and coffee shops and places to buy clothes and trinkets are located. But more importantly on this day, there's a lot of places to walk in the shade and also sit and relax. And that's pretty much what we did all afternoon. Played in the water, had some drinks by the beach, and just relaxed. If you're staying on Koh Samet a little longer, I would suggest renting a bike, cruising on the island, see beautiful viewpoints like you're seeing here, so many other beaches to see. Here are a couple of our favorites. On this visit, we just decided to chill on Sai Kau Beach, catch the sunset. After rusting up for a bit, we decided to do something we hadn't done the previous times we came, that's to catch a fire show and dinner at the beach. We decided to eat at Ploy Tale, one of the more popular restaurants for the fire show. We ended up spending about 1100 baht for a lot of food and a lot of drinks. I'll end the video by giving you a little taste of the fire show, but if you enjoyed the video, if you found something useful, hit the like button, think about subscribing. Till next time, peace.